Hi, I'm Dr. Abby, and recently after giving a talk to a company about assertiveness and expressing your worth, I received this question. What strategies can I employ to ensure that my voice is heard without coming across aggressive? Now, that is actually a valid fear that so many of us have, especially when we were raised to be respectful and we just know that it's not professional to be so aggressive and to lose your cool. Let's say your boss has been going out of town recently more than usual and she puts you in charge of all her tasks on top of the tasks that you have for your own job. And at first, this is actually a really great honor to be chosen to be in charge of the boss's responsibilities. But this is the fifth time in two months. This is too much. Do you see how I'm starting to get emotional here? This is where we take some time for metacognition, which is thinking about what you're thinking. You're thinking and feeling like saying, uh, exactly how many times do you plan on going out of town and how do you expect me to do my job and your job at the same exact time and do it well? And you might be thinking that she's being selfish and she's being unprofessional and absolutely unrealistic. And then you want to attack, maybe not physically, but definitely you want to speak up. And here's how you do it. The way to be assertive is to be firm yet respectful. And you can do that by checking your intention. Your intention when you communicate. Initially, the real intention is for the important work at your company to be done and to be done well, both yours and her work, okay? And at this point, you're noticing it's not being done and it's not being done well. You have high standards for the company to be successful, and that's not a bad thing. The common goal that you both have is for the company to do well, and if your intention is to help the common goal, then they should be receptive to that as long as it's delivered respectfully. There's this thing called the tennis court theory, and it goes like this. Instead of being the opponent in the tennis court game where you're smashing the ball against each other and you are enemies, where you say, this is unacceptable, you are so selfish, what you do is you recognize that the opponent is actually the problem. Ah, and this is a time for you and the other person to play doubles against that opponent and you need to huddle up and come up with some kind of strategy together to get the problem solved. Because remember, you have the same goal. You are on the same team. Taking all that I just said into consideration, okay, you can now go into your boss and you say, you know, I'm always there to pitch in whenever I'm needed. And lately, I've been seeing that my workload, our workloads are piling up when I cover in your absence. So I'd like to delegate some of the tasks to other members of the team whenever you're gone so that we don't fall behind. You see, you are dealing with the situation. You are composing yourself. You're being firm yet respectful and you still look noble and professional in the process. You see how you were able to get your message across without attacking. And that's the biggest thing because you're really just trying to do what's right for everyone and keep your composure. And that is not an attack at all. Check your intention and focus on the common goal. Do this and you'll experience the freedom that comes with being assertive the right way.